The number one tip, I think, is to get away from where you're being stung. Often, these blue bottles will move in massive swarms, and we're talking not tens, not hundreds, but thousands of blue bottles all moving on a current of water together. I live near Bondi, and I'm a lifesaver at Tamarama Surf Lifesaving Club, the, uh, the next beach south from Bondi. I'm down in the water all the time, um, multiple times a week. And just in recent days, we have noticed a huge influx of blue bottles. It's not an unprecedented number of blue bottles, but it is a very large swarm and more often brought in by these, these warm waters, these, these warm winds that, that bring them ashore and make swimming um, pretty tricky and, uh, and pretty uncomfortable. There are lots of wives' tales, old wives' tales going around about how best to treat blue bottles. You'll hear people say, oh, you get someone to urinate on you or you throw some vinegar on it. Um, but the advice at the moment is um, pick, you can use the pads of your fingers to, to pick tentacles that, that might be stuck on your skin off. And then it's hot water, as hot as you can tolerate it for about 20 minutes is going to reduce that sting. Some people, it has to be said, react very badly. Um, and in those cases, you should be seeking medical assistance. You should be calling an ambulance if things get serious. But for most people, hot water um, is gonna take the edge off that sting and you're gonna feel better. You can sometimes just get one little sting on your arm or your hand or your face, but other times, and we've seen this on the beach, people will be wrapped in multiple blue bottles and they'll be all around their body and it's really quite painful and it's really very distressing. So there can be some pretty serious ones as well.